It's not magic. It's ostensibly magic. I mean, I can't explain it. You can't explain it. No, I, I think I could, generally speaking. Okay, fine. All right. Pretend I'm a medieval peasant and explain this to me. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, let's see. Um, hail, traveler. Hail? What is that, a joke? Me bleeding legs are rotting off and I'm sitting here in this disease gutter. Oh boy. Disease gutter? Yes, and I have just the thing to help you pass the time while you sit there. Behold the cellular phone. Hold on, bruv. My ears around here somewhere. Let me find it so I can hear ya. Right off the bat, I feel like you're pitching this to the wrong guy. Okay, this allows you to talk to anyone anywhere. It can also help you look up the cure to... I want to say leprosy. Syphilis. Is that not reading? No, sure. Okay, it's a way for everyone in the world to be interconnected on the same device with no cord. Well, you need a cord to charge the battery. Okay, a, a battery is, it's like a power source that you, uses nickel? With electrons? Right, well, I'm with you so far. Really? Okay, so there are these invisible wavelengths that come from satellites. Nope. Towers. You know, I can't remember which. Maybe it's easier if I just start with two dots and work outward. Uh, there's a, a, a gate. You know what? Look, there are some precious metals inside. Just break it open with a rock. See? Magic. Basically, just another medieval peasant with a glass brick. We'd end up sharing the same disease gutter, mixing up our noses in no time. Hey, you know what could be fun? Knowing only what you know now, currently, and with your skill sets. What point in history would you time travel to to use those abilities to become rich and famous? Huh. Well, this is humiliating. Really? Not one of us is an expert in anything useful? No. No, I go to the Wild West. No, earlier colonial times and sell them cures for diseases. What makes you think you could cure a disease? Not cure disease, sell them cures for diseases. You know, mix a bunch of shit in a bottle and hock it. Oh, the snake oil salesman. Well, sure. If they had had snakes back then, Soren. The point is, I'm privy to 200 years of scams. And all these Plymouth Rock rubes are green to it. So what happens when none of your cures work? They would kill you. Would they, though? Did you know there was a doctor in the early 1900s who claimed he could cure impotence by sewing goat testicles into your body? Not connecting them to veins. Not even, like, putting them where testicles should be. The but just like shoving them in there, wherever they'd fit. I mean, this dude got rich because everyone was either too embarrassed or dead to complain. I could do that. And if the heat ever came down, I'd just roam from town to town, you know, drifting, scrounging for food. A grifter, drifter, occasional sifter. It's not like they have some roaming legal force that goes between the colonies. They couldn't even keep track of an entire population that disappeared. Okay, so you're saying that if somebody gave you a time machine, the first thing that you would think of is how to kill naive people for profit. Convincing them to kill themselves. Yeah, well, I haven't worked out all the details, but all right, well, if you don't like that, the point is there's a whole universe of pyramid schemes and short cons and timeshares and Nigerian princes out there to keep me in the money. I just have to keep changing up my hustle. Okay, well, uh, I prefer not to make my money by hustling my ancestors, so I'm going to the age of discovery. Bon voyage. Wait, but you don't know how to sail. But do you know how to sail? Of course you know how to sail, you fucker. I don't actually, but I don't need to because in the age of discovery, there were still huge parts of the world that as far as Europe was concerned, were just completely dark. They didn't know much about the Pacific, or they're still kind of hazy on North and South America too. I wouldn't have to be able to draw that well to like bang out a sketch of the Asian coast and be like, hey, you see that little island right there? That's Japan. They're lousy with silver and they don't know how to sail. You can get there by hugging this little pokey bit called Argentina. Trade winds, Straits of Magellan, Straits of Soren. Etc. You'd need royalty to fund your expeditions, though. Do you really think you could time travel and then immediately get an audience with a king or a queen? No, I wouldn't need it. Back then, rudder journals were worth more than gold to pilots. I wouldn't even have to step on a boat. I could sell those things out of bars and brothels, and when my maps start checking out and all these boats start coming back filled with goods, I'd be knighted in no time. All thanks to middle school geography. <sighs> Maybe I invent the Panama Canal. Yeah, 
but eventually they'd be curious as to why you knew so much about the world and absolutely nothing about boats. I mean, that's too much like sorcery. They'd burn you at the stake with me. Whoa. Whoa, what? You didn't even do yours yet. Come on, let us tear it down together. You guys realize that this isn't a great game for me, right? Sure, because... It's a short hair? It's a, a dyed hair. You can't travel with dyed hair. It was... Hair. Is it time travel? Like an upper body thing? I, it might be, yeah, the strength of it. Okay, good. so for me to be successful, I would have to introduce people to an idea that they've never heard of before. And when women do that, history has a way of either stealing the idea from them or being convinced that it's black magic and then murdering them. I mean, time travel is just exclusively a white guy fantasy. No, come on. It, not always. I mean, you, you could go to the Renaissance and shock them. Which I would be a witch. Or the height of the Roman Empire. Introduce aqueducts. Witch, witch. I would be a witch again. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Modern history. 1920s, right before the stock market crashes. You What? Okay, I wouldn't be like a witch in the 20s, but it's still kind of iffy for an autonomously wealthy female inventor. Jesus. No, definitely not Jesus time. I mean, 1 AD is terrible for women. There were a lot of throwing rocks in those ancient deserts. Okay, fine. So... When in history was it safe for a woman to invent something extraordinary? 1981. Yeah, and then I would just, I don't know, like, write Grease 2 and live a modest life. I don't know, this game sucks. Wait a minute, hang on, that's actually a pretty good point. What do we all know better than anyone else around right now in our world? I know she talks about it a lot, but I haven't seen either Grease. No, pop culture. We all have so many... Movies and songs and stories memorized verbatim. All we need to do is write them down before they existed, and boom, we're famous. And Katie, history is kind er to woman entertainers. I don't think pop culture is that simple, though. Like, you couldn't just randomly go back and carve Fast and the Furious into a stone tablet and expect ancient Assyrians to worship you. I mean, let's be honest, the 90s wasn't even ready for that movie. No, just pick any of your favorite things that you know really well and go to that time, right? The fairy tales before the Brothers Grimm or the National Anthem. Pick your favorite book by your favorite author and just write it before they got a chance. We could be Shakespeare. Yeah, but come on, nobody has Shakespeare memorized. Be then you shall hear the surly soul to giving warning to the world that I left this vile world. Thou art more lonely and more tempish for it. Etu Brote. Theater kid for life. I don't know, Daniel. I mean, your way ensures that the real Shakespeare never exists, that the real talent is lost to history, and all we have is your half-remembered copy. So? F Shakespeare. History doesn't even know if he didn't steal half those plays. I could steal half those plays. I could steal all those plays. I could be the bard, kind of. Or, you know, either of you could be the bard. Not you, Soren. You can write The Saint, I guess. Oh, I get to kiss Elizabeth Shue. No, you wouldn't. You don't get to be the saint. Okay, fine. How far back do I have to go to be the saint? It's not a true story. You know that, right? I mean, even if it was, you know Elizabeth Shue wouldn't be playing herself. Uh, you know what? I have a recipe for cold fusion memorized, so forget it. I'm rich already. Soren, what are you doing? You're really encroaching on my persona. I don't like this. Yeah, Michael's the cold fusion guy of our group. Everyone has always known Do that. your cold fusion formula, Michael. Yeah, here you go. <laughs> oh, we all gotta get out. Oh, there it is. You can a see, big diagram. You can wow. see it. Oh, well, that'll make a lot air. of sense. Yeah. This coalescing ball of energy that, while the credits roll. Hey, everybody. Thank you for watching that video. You can always like and subscribe. You can subscribe by clicking the C in the middle of the screen. You can also watch more videos over here in the rail. You can smash that bell if you want to see more of our videos as they come up. This is a chocolate silk pie that I insisted on when I wrote this script. It was the only thing I put in the across the page. And boy, is it delicious.